in the midst of a lot of macro uncertainty, Bitcoin is right now on the verge of a critical technical breakout. In this video, we need to look at whether or not we are in a position of selling the rallies or whether or not this breakout has legs to go further, how much further it could go. And we're going to focus in on what are all the levels that you should be watching to know whether or not we have a confirmation of this breakout and when we have a lot of further clarity. This is Jordan with Conquer Trading and Investing. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Before we get started today, if you would take a moment to smash the like button in the description below, you will find my Twitter. You could follow me there to continue the conversation as well in the comments below. What I want you to focus in on as we get started today is this area over here. You can see this dotted blue line and this every time when we broke below was a technical breakdown. If you went ahead and you just move the line over to that last touch, that last swing low, you could see another technical breakdown occurring. This included what happened over here in November. We called this the beginning of the correction of wave two. And then as we went further, this is where we said something's not right. It's time to take profits on all leverage positions that came off the swing low. We had this technical breakdown. You can see the, the breakdown of the dotted blue line. That works on both sides, right? If you go ahead and you invert the chart right over here, you could see that that would be another possible potential breakdown that is getting ready to occur. So we're gonna flip this back over right side right, and then we're gonna dig in and take a look at, even though there's a lot of uncertainty right now, people are wondering, why is the Fed getting ready to hike rates into a slowing economy? They're pulling away all the liquidity. We have really high oil prices, another drag on the economy. How is it possible that we continue forward here when there's so much uncertainty ahead of us? It's a trader's market right now. We have to take all of the technical signals that are before us. There is no guessing. We want to make sure we're aware of these big technical breaks before they occur. That way no one is left behind. That way no one is chasing upwards and buying Bitcoin, perhaps at an area that we should be taking profits and or reversing. Let's take a look right now. And probably the most important thing to focus in on is that Bitcoin is in an upward sloping channel. You could see that it is currently making higher highs. And so far, it's making higher lows in this range that is going sideways for over a year now, but sloping slightly upwards. We are now towards the bottom of that range. You could see over here, by the way, if you didn't see last video, go ahead and watch it directly after this. I'll make sure to link that. But if you go ahead and clone this upper trend line that's touching the high of April to the high of November, point it out with CTM hive mine, you go ahead and bring it down over here and you can see that touch we had over here, these two lows, these price spikes that we had over the summer in June and July, that's where we spiked down and touched just last week, again, touching that line. You could see the structure of the market is very clean and it's very clear, all right? On the upside right now, we have since November, we've been in this persistent downtrend, right? And you can see right now that we are on the verge of potentially breaking out above it. We're coming into resistance right now. So I want you just not to focus on what could potentially be uh, the upside potential. Right now, this line over here, very important, breaking down below it will institute another sell impulse. Over the weekend, we put out a video. We were talking about watch what happens if price breaks down from this current sell impulse. It was one of the three areas that you needed to be watching. Price broke down, you can see the breakdown came in for that retest, this broken support, it was support over here ever since uh, January the 24th, again touching it on the 27th, the 28th, and once it broke down, price broke down, came in for a retest, and sure enough, that broken support became resistance, and then pr price resumed down. This morning over here, I added this line. It's on Twitter. That's why you wanna make sure you're following me on Twitter. You can find that in the description below. And as we broke above, that negated that sell impulse. And because of the current circumstances that we're watching today in the markets, including a rejection of the US dollar off of major resistance, the risk over here at this point, everyone needed to be aware if they wanted to go ahead 
and be long. Now, we are coming in towards a couple of things. Extend that line out. It's still in play right now. You can see it. I'm just going to extend that line up. That broken, uh, that broken support acting as, that's not straight up. Let me get that straight up. Hold on one second. There you go. That broken support now acting as resistance. It's very light level over here, right? Very light level. This over here now that we've made or a higher high by price from this last uh, this last price spike over here, this trend line gets adjusted, right? It gets adjusted now off the low over here. So over once what price made that buy impulse, those that are really focused down on on smaller price movements, and I want you to be focused not only on the small price movements but the larger ones, right? And especially even if you're larger time frame oriented, which you should be. You still want to pay attention to what's going on on the smaller time frames, not so that you're trading in and out of Bitcoin, so that you're able to get a really strong feel of what's taking place in the markets and make more calculated, better decisions in the long run. At this point right now, once this trend line is moved off, off and adjusted from where it was over the weekend, now over here to the bottom, uh, as long as price stays above here, the momentum is to the upside. We are coming into an area of resistance. It is this trend line resistance I want to show you on a log scale. I want you to take a look at this view. It's very simple. It's very clean and it's very clear. I want you to spend some time you understanding what this line is over down here. You want to always be aware of your risk, right? A breakdown of this trend line. At that point, sellers have an opportunity to take control once again. A break doesn't mean that sellers are going to go ahead and take it down and perhaps test last week lows. It gives them the opportunity if there's going to be any follow through for them to push it. Right now, this is the area you want to watch on your downside. Now, you're coming into some resistance on the upside. What does that look like? Let's take a look. You can see very clean and clear the dotted trend line. This is, again, extended up all the way to November to where the price made its all-time high at $69,000. I'm gonna jump over to candles, make sure that I have that top touch over there. I'm gonna extend this down like this so that you could see the top touch over here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over here to the daily close. That is the overhead resistance we're looking at for a breakout on the log scale. Here we go. I'm jumping over to the candle so you can see the highest price spikes and then I'm going to go ahead and connect this line over here. This is when price breaks above this over here. This is on the log scale using the highest price spikes over here. Getting above here at that point, that is with greater clarity a close above there. Indication that we are looking at deed at price going ahead and being able to sustain this breakout to the upside. That's coming in at 41,000, let's call it $41,250. Right below it, you could see this horizontal area of resistance I have in. It's coming in roughly at the same area, $41,000. And then I made this circle. This whole circle is an area of resistance. You have three different areas of resistance I'm pointing out to you right now, including this solid green line, which touched the April high. Then we had this peak, another touch in September. And then all throughout December, this was holding as support, right? That broken resistance, broken resistance, confirmed as support, price went up, retested as support. You could see it spiked down below, but closed above it that day until finally it broke down. After that broken support, it became resistance, not once, but twice. That should be resistance on the upside. Right now, even though we're getting a technical breakout, a technical break to the upside, there is a lot of overhead resistance. It's too soon to know whether or not we are in a, in a, in a phase that we are going to see any type of rally sold or if this is actually the real deal and there's going to be a lot of forward momentum. That's why as you get the signals both to the upside and downside, I think it's important to keep yourself on the right side by taking them both. I'm going ahead and adjusting this trend line once again. This is to the December 27th high. And then when we touched it again over here in January the 22nd, a close above there is going to be an indication that buyers have the opportunity to go ahead and continue this rally. However, 
be aware there's a lot of resistance above us. There's a lot of overhead resistance that buyers really need to, to go ahead and push through. This is if you're bearish on Bitcoin, this is the place that you wanna lean into. Now I would extend this line out I have over here and wait for a close below that to know that you have the trigger to go ahead and lean into this on the short side, right? Or if you are gonna take the breakout, if you're getting long over here, know when you need to go ahead and say that trade had no follow through, the resistance was too strong. Getting above this area of resistance, by the way, that is not the free and clear. Let's take a look at this, by the way. Here you can see over here, this, this, uh, this is on a linear chart. This is showing this blue dotted line. This is a major technical breakout. It's coming in that area right around $40,000, that same area. A breakout above there does not guarantee that we go straight up and test the all-time highs or anything like that, anything like that. We have a lot of danger areas on the way up, a lot of broken down uh, structures that need to be repaired. If we get a close above the breakout of this trend line, if we're having a, a trend change, we'll then start focusing in on those areas that everyone needs to work to worry about, those areas that need to see a repair above for any type of bullish continuation, those areas that people who are wishing to exit to take profits should really be focused in on as areas that, you know what, this is gonna be a place where it's a lot of profit taking will take place. And we will focus in on all those important areas as this further develops. Right now, we are getting close to a potential trend change. We wanna focus right above us to see what that looks like. Here you can see on this blue line I'm showing you on the linear chart when I said to you about $40,000. If we zoom in over here and dig in, you could see that clean touch over here, the clean touch over here, and on a linear chart that's putting us right around $40,000. I'm leaning towards the log chart and I'm leaning towards safety. You all know over here is when it was time to go ahead and saw that buy impulse coming into that strong area of resistance. We have a lot of overhead resistance to work above and clear above before we could start getting a little momentum going in our direction that is the bullish for the bullish case of Bitcoin. It's gonna be trading above, a close above this green line over here. That is where we could see some potential follow through to the upside. And then we will look at what that, that upside targets would be and how we should position ourselves around that. I'm gonna do my best with regular updates, keeping everyone on the right side of the most important trade that matters. Do your part, please. Keep the community positive, smash the like button, and add any insight that you have to go ahead and take us further along. Everyone, have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you later.